Ron, we're back for the final question in this series. And that question is, Ron, again, thank you very much for your time today and answering all these questions. And thanks to the members for submitting them and keep them coming. So Ron, the last question is, Ron, would you have any comments on how the system of laws will change? It seems every law that is following maritime law will become null and void and will need to move to common law. Any comments? Yeah, null and void does not uh, does not preclude moving. Uh, <clears throat> so there's there's certain reasons why certain laws are in place. Oftentimes, those laws are in place to help the elite and uh, the whole uh, system of of rule uh, and justice in court systems is all taken over by the the bad guys. <clears throat> And and uh, and we have certain organizations that are involved in that, and they they're the ones who who created laws so that the system of uh, of justice does not include them. You're we're looking at that, and we're seeing how that showing that there's a two justice system right now, and uh, and that's what Trump is trying to help us to see. Uh, it's, it's, you know, if you're a Democrat, then you can do this and you can do whatever you want to do. And then if you're a Republican, or especially if you're Trump, you can't even breathe. It's against the law for it. You're, you're, uh, you're breaking the law by breathing, dude. Yeah. Uh, those are the kinds of, when you're talking about maritime law, there are, are laws that need to, to be uh, appropriate for the land. And uh, if there's then if they're maritime law, then those laws have to be changed into the common law venue, and uh, and that will that will take place with the SARA. <clears throat> when when the SARA comes about, and it's is you know is it years away? I don't know. It's going to take time to adjust to the SARA and then make that the the governing body of the land. Um, I don't know how fast that can happen. Uh, it, it, maybe it's already happening really, really fast and just need something to finalize it. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> but the fact is, is that the systems of laws, bar attorneys, that's what I was trying to say, bar association, British accredited registry, that means that you're a registered agent with the crown if you're a bar attorney. Now, even the bar attorneys don't really understand that or they would be offended by it, but that's true. And that's why uh, if the, the original 13th amend, Amendment was you can't use your titles of liberty or your titles in, in the land. They're not supposed to be uh, valid, but yet the bad guys have gone ahead and made them valid and, and, uh, and have created hell for us. And that's their job. And they did a, did good, they did a good job. So let's let's say that the legal system as it now stands is based in maritime law will change. The the Nassara law, Jasara in other countries, uh, will will change the way that governance takes place. Now notice that I said the word governance, not government. Government is cabal. Governance is governing people and the new governing of people will be just uh jasara and nasara compliant otherwise you won't as a country you you will not be involved in the quantum financial system which in reality would be just a, a death knell for you uh, or for your country because you can't buy anything, buy, can't sell anything. It all goes through the quantum financial system. And then if you're not part of it, then how are you going to pay for something? Those are things that have to take place. There, there's a, a way that it will take place. So let's just be a, aware that it will take place and it won't stay the way it is. The way it is is, is taking care of the, the elite and designed to keep them out of jail. That's what attorneys are for. 
A lawyer is a different sort of thing. A person who studies law, law is a lawyer. An attorney is one who, a turn means you take from one and give to another. That's what attorneys do. They take money from that person and give it to that person over there. So there's a whole new system of justice that's that's going to take place. It'll be it'll be pure, it'll be correct, it'll be won't be tainted with all of the garbage that's there now. So look forward to a brand new way of loving and a brand new way of having a legal system that works for everybody. Those are my comments. Wonderful, wonderful way to end this series, Ron. I thank you so much, as, as always, for your time and your wisdom. Do you have any final comments you'd like to share? Well, I'd like to say, uh, you know, there's really, really good questions here. And uh, as you listen to my answers uh, and, and you listen to the program, uh, think to yourself about these things and come to your own conclusion about them. Uh, if if what I say makes sense, then you can adopt that. If it doesn't, then just let it go. Um, but it's important for you to understand these things. And the questions that have been asked are really good reminders that we are changing the way we live. We're going through a higher evolution in our spirit and going into a higher um, vibrations, higher vibrations, uh, resonance. All of these sorts of things is is helping us to become who we are. And so if we step forward ourselves and declare who we are, I think that we're moving in the right direction. So uh, if I call you creators, would you be offended? If I called you children of God, would you be offended? I hope not. Well, that's it for this uh, today and next week. Or whatever whenever it goes up Sounds love great. and appreciate everybody and thank you for your participation greatly appreciate it very good and we will be back with another audio series here shortly and hope everyone has a great great rest of the week and ron again thanks for all your time my privilege